Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and we're going to create a scrapbook layout with the Sweet as Honey collection from Close to My Heart. This is the second layout I have done with this uh, collection, so if you missed the first one, you can catch that right here or I'll have it linked in the description box below. So after this video, you can come back and check that one out. That was a double page layout and I did give a you know walk through over this collection and all the bits and bobs that go along with it. I have these two pictures of my youngest son Clayton and I'm going to be documenting his love for wearing suits. So this is a four by six. I've matted it on black cardstock and this is a three by four plus the white border which I printed it that way and then matted that on black cardstock also. So let me get these cleaned up and we'll get started. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love to work on my Versamat. I'm just going to put a removable glue dot in each corner to hold my cardstock in place. And I'm going to build my layout on a sheet of black cardstock here. So we'll get that lined up on my grid here. I'm going to use a piece of paper. This is exclusive to the workshops. This is not in the regular paper pack. The workshops come with exclusive die cuts and exclusive pattern papers. So I like to get them because it gives you more uh, fun things to work with, but you can create three double page layouts and they give you, this is the cutting guide, the PDF that comes with it already printed out. Or like I like to do my own thing because the design process is, you know, part of the fun for me. So I have trimmed this down to 11 and a half squared. So we're going to have a quarter inch margin all the way around. I'm going to take my uh, Tim Holtz little sponge tool here and just add some black ink to the edge here. I like to go around and do this on all my layers. It's just, I don't know, I feel kind of naked without it. For those of you that are a big fan of inking edges, you know exactly what I mean. So I'll go ahead and speed this up really quick. I am really appreciating the versatility of this collection. My first layout had this very vintage Western kind of heritage vibe, and now I am playing up the masculine aspect of this collection. So I know I want to orient my photos staggered like this. I really like to do that because it just naturally creates areas for you to add your title or to tuck embellishments. I mean, it totally works, you know, having them different sizes too, because like, like that'd be a perfect place for a title. And then you can do some embellishing on the bottom, but I am going to stagger them. And I do like to have my uh, photos and everything kind of connected. So I'll probably overlap them like that. So I thought I'd bring in some of the pocket cards. Now we have the subtle colors in the background. This paper has just kind of built in texture and pattern to it. So that's what I love about that. But I wanna bring more of this color in. So let's just kind of look through here. Gosh, that'd be a cute title. And you know what's cool about the uh, Picture My Life cards is that they're oriented both ways. So like you could totally do something like that. Uh, lots of options, or if you wanted to use it, you know, this way, but I don't think, I have a different title in mind, but I do like to use these for titles. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this one because like I said, I wanna bring in that beautiful saffron color. So I'm gonna tuck that just behind my photo to add a pop and frame that in. I know I definitely want to add this paper. On one side we have the newsprint text and on the other side it's kind of mixed in with some pattern. And I am thinking I'm going to do a circle right here. So I grab one of my Hero Arts Infinity dies. This particular circle measures four and a half acro inches across. So I am going to go ahead and die cut a circle from this pattern paper. Okay, let's see if that is a good size here. Oh, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and I'll get the edges inked of both of these pieces. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually gutted that pocket card to save that piece for something else. So we'll layer that right just like so. And our circle, I love all the interest this adds and that text paper is so cool. I could get a whole pack of that. Okay, so I think that is looking good. Now I'm thinking just kind of rough overview. I'm gonna put my title here and maybe journaling down here. For my title, I'm thinking 
um, Hello Handsome. So what I'm going to do is grab my dies. I have the Slim Alpha dies from the Core Catalog, and I think these are going to fit perfectly. This Core Catalog runs through uh, August of this upcoming summer, and if you flip to page 67, you can see they have a couple different fonts. I love how slim these are, so when you're you know, trying to incorporate a large word, it usually works really well. I'm going to go ahead and pull off my letters and just kind of put them in the area to see if they're going to fit in the space I have uh, envisioned here. So while I do that, my son, like I said, I'm documenting his love for dressing up in a suit, which is totally funny to me because this kid is a country boy at heart. He is rough and rugged and outdoorsy and total cowboy, loves animals and, you know, his horse loves dirt, all things dirt. He'll just go traipsing through the forest. But anytime time he has the opportunity to wear his suit, he is going to take it. And I just love this about him. I think it's so cool. So that is totally going to fit. Let me squish my E in there. And yes, it's going to be perfect. It'll be a little bit tighter because the actual die cut letter will be slightly smaller than the dies. To make my life easier, I'm going to grab a piece of washi tape and pick these dies up. They don't need to be in order. This is just going to make it easier for me to move them about and get them die cut out. One of the featured colors is mink. So I grabbed a sheet of mink cardstock and trimmed down a piece. And I'm going to just pick up my washi tape. This is how it's going to make my life easier because I can just, uh, it doesn't matter if they're crooked because I'm using the inner portion, not the negative piece. And now this is ready to just run through my die cutting machine. So we have all of our die cut letters. I am a huge fan of having some classic alphabet dies in your scrappy stash because although, you know, alpha letters stickers are fun and they're quick and easy, I always run out of the color that I want or the letter. So when you have dies, that's not going to happen. You get to choose your cardstock or pattern paper color. And of course, you just pull the letters that you need for whatever you are, uh, you know, creating your title to be. Now, because I die cut these from mink, which is a lighter, more muted color. I want them to stand out still. So I'm adding a little bit of distressing to these just by going around the edge with black. I am getting on the face of the letter as well. And again, that's just to help them stand out. My original thought was to use black cardstock, but because it's so big, I think it just would have been way too overwhelming and bold for the layout. So that's why I went with this mink color. I'm going to grab my handy T-square ruler, and this actually catches on the ledge of the Versamat, which is super handy for keeping that lined up. I recommend having a pair of tweezers and liquid glue to glue down your die cut letters, and I will not make you watch the entire process, but I'm just going to do a few of them and just put a little bit of glue. This does dry clear, so if it does kind of, you know, squish out the sides a little bit, it's not the end of the world. It'll dry uh, nice and tidy. So the tweezers keep your hands nice and clean and using glue allows you to slide these letters into place so you have a little bit more time to get them straight. I do have some foam alpha stickers in my stash. I can't even tell you what company made these because somebody put them on the free table at work and I'm like, yes, hello, craft supplies, I'll take them. But I have a piece of wax paper down for placement to make sure that this is gonna work and I think that is the look I'm going for. So we'll bring back in my T-square ruler and then I can use that to line these up and get them stuck down above the word handsome. I'm a big fan of mixing and matching fonts for titles. I think it adds a lot of interest. Originally, I had planned on stamping the word hello, but because we're going over a couple different layers of paper, it would have been kind of tricky, and this gives me an opportunity to use up some of my stash. These little die cut flourishes or chipboard shapes, those are from the workshop. And then we also have these cork shapes. I love these. I definitely want to use them. There's the inner pieces and the outer piece. It kind of creates like a little honeycomb or cluster of hexagons. And I'm going to put one on either side of the layout for balance and to just kind of draw your eye all the way across. I'm going to tuck those under my photo a little bit so they're just peeking out. And then I thought these were... They have kind of a formal look to them, which it goes along with the story behind my son liking to dress up. Just for fun, we'll pop in a few of these inner pieces. 
I'm just going to do a couple on each side, making sure to separate them, and I don't want them in the same row. I think that looks good. And now I'm pulling some stickers off the sticker sheet. We've got more hexagons, and I just like to create little embellishment clusters and layer some over the photo, some behind the photo, and this just kind of tucks everything in and gives it a cohesive feel. I definitely want to use this little lock and key set. They don't necessarily have anything to do with the layout, but that's okay. I like them. So this little piece is already uh, pre-cut from the bonus die cuts, and I cut this one to match. So I was thinking I would use this uh, Sundance colored pattern paper, but I'm going to end up flipping it over to the stripe side. It's a little bit longer, so I'm just trimming off the top so I don't have to tuck quite so much behind my photo. It was just a little bit too bold, so I'm inking up the opposite side with the black ink so that I could have the stripe side up. I love having double-sided paper because if one side doesn't work, flip it over and use the other side. I am adding my journaling to this area. I printed it out on mink cardstock and then cut that into a little banner piece to match the other two layered beneath it. There's a couple little decorative elements on the sticker sheet that I thought would look cute to act like they're kind of holding this in place. So we'll line those up on the side. I thought it'd be fun to add some stamping. So I dug through my stamp collection and this stamp here is retired, but it says limited edition. And I thought that's gonna be absolutely perfect for this layout. So I inked it up in black and I'm stamping it right underneath my uh, photo here on the left-hand side. And I'm looking for more. I want to add a few more word phrases. This one also retired says, this makes me happy. And I thought it looked great right above the photo here. So from Mink Cardstock, I used this uh, Tabs die cut set from the Core Catalog to die cut that out. And we're going to ink this up and stamp it right onto the little tag here. Or not tag, tab. I love these little file tabs. These are just something that you can add to almost any project. And it just adds some interest and some layering and texture. Because Close to My Heart's cardstock is white, does have a white core, I'm sanding it to give it that distressed look, and then we'll tuck it right up top here. I feel like that's covering too much of that uh, Sundance color, so I'm going to move that down to the side here and then stamp a date stamp up top above the photo directly onto the yellow to let that color show through. So these just have boxes that say month, date, and year, and I can write that in with my journaling pen. I was looking through my embellishment stash and came across these fun acrylic brackets. These can be found in the core catalog and they're in black, white, or wood. And I thought it'd be fun just to kind of highlight or, you know, close in the end of my title here. I like to use the micro glue dots to adhere these. We'll get that tacked down right in place. And I think that's just another fun little element. I think I definitely pulled off a masculine themed layout from the Sweet as Honey collection and I am absolutely loving all that background interest from that exclusive pattern paper from the workshop. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you join the Crafty Concepts with Erin community. Here's a few more videos you might enjoy and I'll catch you next time.